of things so, that have gripped the nation, if you will. The, things, the pedophilia that's taken a hold, pedophilia nation. Yeah. Uh, we had an America's Most Wanted that we had mentioned. We had a follow-up Dateline NBC to catch a predator. We were still in small-town America. Uh, my friend Jonathan, <laughs> you might know him as Jonathan LaRoquette. He's the one with the tattoo of Hui Jade um, on the back of his neck. I, I, this is obviously becoming a pattern at this point because I told you a couple of weeks ago my old man fucked with me for not seeing the Rosie O'Donnell gay, gay kid cruise thing after we ran to and raved about how awesome it was going to be. And yet again, here we are, a week after telling everybody to tune in to, to Catch a Predator 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, and 33. Sweep, sweep. And I managed to not watch either that or the America's Most Wanted like spinoff of it either. So I'm, I'm pretty much awesome. So not only do the listeners get to get recapped, for Seth, but I, in essence, get to be recapped as well. But I am going to do it as if I saw it. I think that's probably the way to go. So when you I run it down, I'm gonna just do going to... Well, just, just watch try me one. go. Watch me go. All right, let's see if we can do this. Um, like our guy we had on Dateline, one dude, no underwear on, fly completely unzipped. Uh, my, my, my pants are fucked up. Wait, what do you got? got? got you got nothing. nothing. Got no, the nothing. dude straight up's like, no, 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 no. These pants I'm wearing are fucked up. No, but dude, you have no underwear on and your fly is unzipped. No, but what you don't understand, man, is these pants are fucked up. Yeah. I've got fucked up pants on. Yeah, they're wicked fucked up. Yeah, they're they're they, they're yeah, because pants don't come with underwear. It's like a separate <laughs> gig. You gotta you gotta put one on before the other. These pants are crazy, man. They didn't even come with underwear. <laughs> yeah, because they're pants, dude, and they don't come with underwear. Or a zipper that you got to work that on your own. And so when you have no underwear and your and your and your fly is unzipped, and before anybody can say anything, you you exclaim at the top of your lungs, "I thought she was legal age." Before anyone has even said anything, they haven't even asked him what he's doing there. He just yells that out. She said she was legal age. Who said what? <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? This is like a design makeover show, and you want a new house. Why are you incriminating yourself, oh, Dick? Oh God, that was my favorite. Perfect. <laughs> that was mo- that was the one. That was oh, my, with the guy. That one was the my guy favorite. that was kind of creepy, but awesome. My favorite was that one. <laughs> I think basically it's it's time to go old school. These guys have got to buy vans and they've got to kidnap girls from sub- suburban For mall sure. parking lots. Spray lots. paint the back windows, do the whole yeah, line. I mean, you you got to go. You know, Silence of the Lambs, American Girl. You can't. Can you can you help me put my couch? Just tell me with this couch, my arm's in a sling. You gotta bundy it. You've got to go old school. Yeah. If you're on the internet, you're busted. Yeah. It's that simple. No, you Why gotta... can't you just roll out to a, a mall and Grass say you roots. lost your puppy? Yeah. And take it brass Grass tacks, roots, nuts, and bolts. Mom and pop sort of. Yeah, mom and pop style. Hey, I got an apple. I lost my puppy. I'm gonna rape you. Oops, you're in the back of my van. <laughs> Later, bitch. <laughs> These guys are like they're playing with fire and they're getting burnt. Is what's happening now. I am vowing right now. All right. I am vowing. Mark it. To not miss another one of these. All right. There's now, two more. There's two more. Now, Wednesday night's Dateline NBC to catch a predator, to, to, as, a, as incorporating it in as, also as a, as a TV pick again, although we've mentioned it, it should be locked in TiVo style. Um, they basically are warning us, because as we've warned you 12 consecutive weeks, don't even... If you're even going anywhere, even to Cuba, do not connect a flight through Florida. If you land in the state, your chances of being raped or cut increase diametrically, exponentially, something. (laughs) They basically have said next week we're going to Florida, and I quote, It is almost like we've entered a suspected cyber predator twilight zone. And I, We've been telling you guys... Since, since as long as I can remember, which is three weeks ago, two thousand six. Um, it's it's Florida, it's Florida, and this coming week we will learn that in the world of of, of cyber oh, predators, yeah. it, it also excels as well as it excels deadbeat everything. dads dressed as actual moms Worst with bombs. B- dual genitalia and like you know hydrocephalic babies in yeah. in you know. In bubbles that they just like roll off of a mountain because they're too busy, like you know, freebasing off their like sisters' dead dogs. Crap! I mean, just like it's the worst. And yet again, we will we will be proven we'll be right there. yet again. Yes, we will be. The... 
this yet again prophetic. so that's florida to catch a predator next week what do they say what town in florida is it like some podunk uh, or hopefully they're, they're like going panhandle shit do it from gainesville what is, what is to tampa saying? what is this stupid saying the further north you the, the 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 further north you go in florida the further south you get something like that that's the saying that that if it's up in north it's like it's podunk what it do what it do I mean, there ain't no Rick Ross up there. That is, that's what um, I'm saying. There's no Rick Ross up there. That's all I'm saying. So, it, that's America's Most Wanted was good because you had John Walsh yelling, "Hey, scumbag! Hey, you little big baby! What are you gonna do now, you big baby?" He, you know, he had him like he's got a personal vendetta, that, right? He's, yeah, he's yelling at them, so it's extra good. Like one kid was like, uh, "No, what do you, what do you mean? I was, I just came to play basketball. I just wanted to play some basketball." Like, you want to play what? <laughs> it's a shitty. I like field hockey. Field hockey's fun. And oh, damn it. Like, well, my dad's going to kill me. My dad's going to kill me. One guy fake puking outside. You don't know my dad. You don't know my dad. Um... No, we do. He raped you. And that's why you do it. <laughs> well, but, all right. Fake puking is pretty good, fake though. Fake puking is it's good, about but as, no, but they want to know. Pull it, no. This was America's Most Wanted, so they wanted to They were like, all right. They've caught, like, 800, like, fugitives. So did those dudes, because I didn't watch it, um... Did they get arrested like they yeah, do they now? Yeah, they got arrested also, but they didn't. They didn't really show them like a rogue. Because the gallery. first, the first to catch a predator that n- nobody saw except yeah. for Seth, basically, and then he oh. showed me because he taped it. Uh, the first to catch a predator, they didn't arrest anybody. They just were like, "See, yeah, like see, see how fucked up this is." This but is they crazy. it did so well. But yet, I guess it did so well. But everyone said, "But come on, you've got to arrest these guys." Then they found up some way of entrapping them and like deputizing the cameraman. Yeah. So where the cameraman can, yeah. I mean, it's like the worst. Deputizing the sidewalk. Like, yeah, like, like you were on the sidewalk. Yeah. They so but the the Dateline ended basically. It's so good because they had the rogues gallery of all of our boys that have been caught in in the in the prison stripes shackled together, all in a jail cell, no longer cyber chatting but real life chatting like about all their like plans, singing a Michael Hutchins song it's together, like, yeah. <laughs> like recording mics. Like, the worst, it's like, it's like we the are the world. Idea. You put them all together in a room to, to like to trade their secrets. Now yeah. they're like it's like a masterminding the best criminals. It's, they have a the, a clinical psychologist. Um, this is his quote. Um, they say that they're stupid. They say that they're idiots. This is what these are the guys saying this about themselves. Yeah. But the psychologist is like, but they're not, because an idiot wouldn't be able to carry out such sophisticated planning. <laughs> uh, sophisticated planning. Hey, I'm 53. Hey, I'm 12. You want to blow me? Sure. What's your address? I live on Main Street. I'll be there. <laughs> That's wicked sophisto. <laughs> Hey, you ever been fucked? No, I've never been fucked. Hey, I'll fuck you. Hey, how old are you? 11. Great, I'm 70. I'll fuck you good. Where do you live? You want condoms and ice cream? And bottles and jams? I'll fuck you. Oh, wait, you're a cop? I ain't gonna fuck you. I'm gonna go... Oh, shit. Sophisticated planning. Sophisticated planning? <laughs> no, these guys are not idiots. No, they're... Because an idiot wouldn't be able to pull off this mastermind plan. Mastermind plan? Hey, you got body hair? I like no body hair. I'm gonna touch your pussy. I'm going to gently rub you down and do body work on you because I'm talking crazy. I'm going to rub you up and rub you down and kiss you all over where you live. That's super sophisto on the ethernet. So it's extra sophisto because they use buttons to do it. Just buy a van like a normal dude. Like we do. <laughs> I mean, like people we know do. People that's we've what I, heard that's of. That's what I meant. You meant. One guy I actually came. do the van though. I do. You know I do do as a side project, as a side job. Do I do do. I do van retrofitting for that type of work. I know you do for that type you, of work. You've done great work, <laughs> like the Frito Bandito that you airbrushed on the back of my van. Yeah. Now, what I was upset about is that they were only doing girls in the last one, only coming over to meet girls. This time they only they, doing boys. Last only, time only doing no. The last episode they all all coming over to meet a fourteen year old girl. I wanted them to pepper back in some. Yeah. Some boys. One kid was coming to do to. I guess yeah, to do, because that's what he was. Yeah, he was going to come do a, a twelve-year-old. Um, well, <laughs> Don't say do a twelve-year-old. Well, well, you know what I mean. He's like reading the transcript. It said that you were going to be blanking his blank. What did you mean by that? Like, all right. These are the questions. They're, they're, they're reading the transcript to the guy, reading the questions that he asked, and then asking if that's appropriate. Um, question. You asked him, do you have any body hair? The guy's like, um, that's a normal chat question. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy's like, all right, uh, we'll give you that. Um, you also ask him, so do you have a nice cock? Um, yeah, but what were we, what were we talking about prior to that? <laughs> no, I asked him that, but 
roll it back. What were we talking about right before that? <laughs> It'll make sense then. It will make perfect sense. It'll all fall sense. right into place. If Clock you just... fighting jerk. Yeah. Right. Roosters. <laughs> like, were you? <laughs> One dude, not too bright, kind of slow. Um, you ask her if she's horny. What's wrong with that? <laughs> That's exactly how he talks. Like bespeckled, like rough, rough hairdo. Um, you also ask her if she's ever done anal. It's a question. <laughs> yeah, it's a question. An awesomely crazy one that you asked, and now we're watching. All right. It is a question. I mean, and then there was the little guy. Which, I mean, you know if you saw I, the I previews. at least got a teaser of him last week, so I sort of, I, I do have the visual picture of him. He's under five feet. That's all they give us. Whatever that they means. They will give you an Which exact, mean precise two measurement. Two, right? I yeah. don't know what that means. It could be nine inches He's tall. under 60 yeah. and under five feet tall. Uh, he said he was 27 and six foot two. He's 47 and I think four nine, four ten. Stocky little get. He'll get you. He'll bite you and he'll cut you. And he's on his way to prison, right? He was going. It was a Sunday night that they busted him. He was going to jail four days later for 11 months because he pled guilty to doing the same thing. He also raped his niece a few years ago, just to pepper Sweet. that in. And then ate a bunch of chips when he got busted that were sitting on the table in front of him. These are delicious chips. And then just, just watch next week because we're going to Florida. And there he's, a, he's saying that to me, not to you guys. He's saying that to, to my partner here. Uh, there's, an, there's, a, there's an old man wearing glasses. There's, they've got a plate of chocolate chip cookies out on the table. He's devouring the cookies. I love chocolate chip. They come out and they're like, uh, "So, would you like some some milk with those cookies?" He looks at the guy and is like, "Sure, <laughs> like <laughs> awesome, like dude." Florida, Florida. Speaking of 